Hello friends, welcome back to Ansys tutorial. Now I am going to show you how to solve a bar of paper cross section using Ansys. Figure shows the bar with a tapered cross section having a length of 375 mm and inch modulus 2 into 10 power 5 newton per mm square, area at first cross section 1000 mm square. Area at second cross section 500 mm square and an axial load of 1000 Newton is acting in positive x direction at second cross section. First, we need to discretize this tapered bar into stepped bar like this. The length of the first section is 187.5 mm and second section is 187.5 mm. Totally 375 mm. Now we need to determine the area of this first section. In order to determine the area, first we need to find the mean area. A1 plus A2 divided by 2 gives the mean area, that is 750 mm square. In order to find the area of this first section, A1 plus mean area divided by 2, that gives 875 mm square. It is the area of this first section and the second section, it is A2 plus mean area divided by 2 that is 625 mm square. Now let us learn how to solve this using ANSYS. Click on mechanical APDL icon, you will get this workbench open. Now select preferences, structural, fetch method, click OK, go to preprocessor, select element type, click on add edit delete, click add. Select link, click on 3D Finite STN 180, press OK, close. Now select real constant, click on add edit delete, click add, press OK. First set is 875 mm square, click apply. Second set is 625 mm square, click OK, now close. Go to material properties, select material model, click on structural, linear, elastic, isotropic, 2 exponential 5, the X modulus, Poisson's ratio is 0 0.27, click OK, close. Now go to modeling, we need to create the 3 key points, since it is a step, stepped bar, we have 3 key points here, key point 1, key point 2 and key point 3. Now go to modeling, select create, select key points, in active CS, first key point should be created at origin that is 0, 0, 0, press apply and the second key point should be at a distance of 187.5 mm, 0, 0, click apply and the third key point should be at 375 mm, press ok. Now the key points are created, create the lines, go to lines, select line, straight line from key point 1 to key point 2 and again from key point 2 to key point 3. Now click OK. Now the lines are created, we need to mesh them. In meshing, first we need to assign the areas for this section. Go to mesh attributes, select picked line, sorry, select picked line. Select the first line, click OK. Make sure that real constant set number 1 is given for the first element. Now click OK. Now again select picker line, select the second line, click OK. Here change this real constant set number to 2 and click OK. Now we have assigned the areas. Go to size controls next, select manual size, select the lines. Select picked lines, select both the lines, click OK, give the number of element division 50 or you can give any number here. The more number you give, the more accurate result you get. Click OK. Now mesh this. Go to mesh tool, select mesh, select both the lines and click OK. Now meshing is done, we need to apply the loads now. Go to loads, select the defined loads. Select apply load, select structural, displacement, 
on key point. First key point is picture is all degrees of freedom. So select the first key point and click OK. Select all DOF, click OK. And axial load is applied in third key point. So collapse this displacement, open the force, click on on key points, select the third key point and click OK. Give the load 1000 Newton. Click OK. Now the loading the load has been applied. Solve this. Go to solution. Click solve. Current LS. Click OK. Now the solution is done. You can get the results now. Go to general post processor. Select element table. Click define table. Click on add. Scroll this down. Select the by sequence number. Click on LS here. And press 1. And click OK. Now close this. Go to plot result, select contour plot, select nodal solution, select the DOF solution, click on displacement vector term and click OK. This is the displacement, that is 0.0025 mm is the displacement. In order to view the stress, select on element table, select S average here and click OK. 1.6 Newton per mm square is the stress generated at third key point. 1.142 Newton per mm square is the stress generated at second key point. This is in 2D model. In order to see this in 3D, select plot control, select style, select size and shape, select display of element on and click OK. Now here select isometric view. Now in order to animate this, go to plot control, animate, deformed shape, deformed plus and deformed. If you want to see these steps, that is number of steps in one second, select one second here and click OK. Now you are seeing the 3D element and it is animated. You want to see this deformation in forward direction only, select forward only. Thank you for watching video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. To view more videos, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.